today we are going to show you how to make Belgian waffles. Today you need a um mixing a mixing bowl with the, preferably one of these the so you can pour tip. it right on the griddle. You need um two. You can have either one of these um spoons, spoons or a big um fork would work. You need two eggs. Mix. Some and oil. Oil. And then you also need wonderful luscious water. water. With all these ingredients, you will be able to make a very tasty treat for the whole family. Today, we are going to make four to five, but as you can see, you can make two to three, four to five, eight to ten, and there are different things you need for different quantities. But usually it makes two more than it says anyway. Okay, so we will update, we will show you step by step how to make it. And in the end, you will get smiles galore. Okay, so let's get started with the adding of the um, ingredients. As you can see, Cindy has added three cups of the mix in the bowl. Now we will be cracking eggs. Let's do the spice. Okay, so we're doing two eggs today for our recipe. You crack the eggs. Put a knot in, and then we crack a second egg. Wonderful egg cracking, Sydney. Thank you. So now, as you can see, the mix is we added the two eggs in the mix. Next, we will be adding some oil. Oil. Okay, let's get the tablespoon out. Right now, Sydney is adding oil. And she dumps it in the bowl. Now we are almost done. But wait, there's one more ingredient. What is it, Sydney? Water. Luscious water. Okay. okay, so let's get the water. Now I'm going to be putting in some water. She will put cold water and she will carefully walk it over to the bowl. She will dump it in. And now we are ready to stir. Not yet. We need another half cup. Either beaver. Oh. One more half cup of water. So we add, once we add all of these ingredients, we will be able to stir. Remember, you can use a wisp, a spoon, um, a giant fork would also work, but, and um, a blender, I guess, but. This is this is the Let's best way. In okay, and now we're ready to stir. As you can see, Megan is now stirring the ingredients. It's best to start off with a whisk because you get to mix up all these wonderful ingredients into some um, ready to make dough and stuff. It looks gross, but it's actually really good. You can so also, once you get it mixed up like I have now, you can make sure you get everything out of the whisk and you put it in the sink. Isn't that hard? And then you come over here and you get the spoon just for nice touching because the spoon... Make is, sure there's no extra lumps. Yeah, so this is what helps because the spoon mixes it all up and it like makes and it, um, makes it shows smooth. if there's anything left. So after the spoon has done its work, you lock it over here. Make sure you get everything off the spoon and put it in the sink. And now we are ready to make the waffles. Okay, now since you will need to turn this on before you, or when you start, and then once it is ready and it has beeped, see it's steaming, you'll need to spray some ham on. As you can see, Cindy is pouring the mix on to the um onto the griddle. And make sure you pour it in the middle and it's Yes, you up. always want to pour it in the center. And remember, you do not want to fill the whole thing up. Because it can overflow. Yeah. So you wanna just about that is perfect, because as you can see, 
it, the mix is re-rinding. You shut it and make sure you flip it over. Flip it. And that's the beginning. Once you hear it beep, that means it's, it's always ready. the cue. It's like the on, like ready to go and the gap. Yeah. Really, this is a tasty treat. You can have it with chocolate chips, blueberries, um, syrup. So, well, you can put syrup, butter, Jam. whatever you, yeah, whatever you like on it. Um, chocolate syrup. Yeah, they're really tasty. You Peanut can put butter, fruit on it. So many things you can put in. It's just good for everyone. And I think we all think that. And it's just very. It smells good. So I think it's a very good thing to try out for your family. Or like introduce to your mom and stuff. It's just really good. Surprise her in bed. Make it for her. Cause now you know. Yeah. But it's um, it's a very good thing just to have, and it. I have it like every weekend. Yeah. So let's just wait. It starts steaming. It's sort yeah. of. Sh it's so almost like the warning that it's gonna beep, and um, it just shows steaming. And look at it, it beeped. And we flip it over. And we lift it up and look at another golden brown. And we just sort of open it by the sides, each side. And we get each side lifted up and then we we try to get it out. Let's see. Spray pan about every three waffles that you make so it makes it a little easier. Yeah. Whoops. But other than that, the um, waffles are pretty easy. Well, they're pretty, you you never really have trouble with them sticking to the pan. So, yeah, just a little flip it on. And, um, there you go. Yeah. This is anyway. Okay, and now we're ready to make our fourth waffle. But first, spray the pan since we're starting over. I applied the, right in the middle, always remember. Perfect. And we're going to shut it and, and flip. flip. Just one little tip before we make our last waffle. Never eat a piece too big because it feels like it's choking you. And then you'll need water. Side effects maybe. Heartburn. And choking. To death. As you can see, it's steaming up. So another warning, it's going to be pretty soon. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I'm going to sing. Hallelujah. It's a very good idea to sing while you're making well, um, it's steaming up, so it shows that it's going to be ready. Um, this is, um, this is actually very, um, is restaurant-style thick Belgian waffles maker. Um, deep pockets. We got debrushed stainless steel. And we got non-stick coated plates. And we even have professional quality in your house. Don't you love it when you get that just wonderful quality? It's really just quite a treat. I did that. So we're waiting for the waffle to make. Um, while you're waiting, we're gonna get forks and knives. Let's go. One fork for me. One fork for Megan. You want to just rip it apart with your hands? Give me a knife. I'm ripping it apart with my hands. Okay. And now back to the maker. Also, another hint. Um, we are going to show you some of the condiments that you um can use on your waffle. So. So Sydney is going to um stay by the side and wait for it.